Hi, my name is Graham, and this is our Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake we have here at the Gulf Area Marine Adventure Park. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnakes are actually the largest venomous snake here in North America and can grow up to about uh, eight feet long. This little guy is about four feet long, so has a lot of growing left to do still. They obviously get their name from the diamond-shaped pattern on their back. Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnakes are actually found throughout Florida and found throughout much of the southeastern United States. That includes barrier islands, just like the one we're located on here on Okaloosa Island. They prefer dry pine forest habitat. Rattlesnakes obviously have a rattle on the end of their tail, how they get their name. They are born without a rattle. They have a, a small nub and each time they shed, they actually grow a new segment of their rattle. The rattle is actually made of thin uh, keratin, just like our fingernails are. And how it produces the noise that you hear is it just shakes that tail back and forth and actually that keratin of each segment rubs against the other segment and makes that rattling sound. Rattlesnakes actually use their rattle to scare off predators and they use camouflage to hide from prey. Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes are primarily crepuscular. That means they're active early in the morning, during sunrise, and late in the afternoon at sunset. Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes are pit vipers. They're members of the Viperidae family. So they do hunt primarily warm-blooded prey items. This mostly includes rodents, like mice and rats, rabbits, things like that. Eastern Diamondback rattlesnakes will actually help stop the spread of disease by consuming those rodents. So they are excellent for people and the environment. The venom from a lot of these venomous snakes is actually being used in medical treatments to help save people's lives, everything from cancer treatments to high blood pressure medication. So they actually are very, very beneficial to humans. A lot of people are very nervous around uh, venomous snakes, but venomous snakes, just like most snakes, prefer to stay away from people. So there are actually 44 different species of snakes native to Florida, only six of which are venomous. So if you come across a snake, most likely it's gonna be one of those non-venomous species. Uh, so it's best either way that if you do come across one to let it be, uh, observe it from a distance and let it move on without disturbing them.